All right, hello everybody. So let's get our second stream going. We're gonna get the Amazon live stream going now. We're gonna be making some wine bottle candle. Let me put this a little more into the shot. Let's see. We've got that done. Oh no. Sorry everybody, I'm trying to do simultaneous live streams and it takes a second. second everybody sorry about this we're just trying to put a title here for the Amazon live there Hello everybody, alright, we're gonna keep these going. We're gonna do a bunch of quick wick tips here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you how to turn, uh, these are really for emergency use only, and I'd like to do these for testing to prove my items work uh, as advertised. So uh, if you're gonna be using this on a regular basis, I would recommend uh, purchasing professionally designed lamps that are made to work. Um, and then if you're going to do something like this, you could do this for emergency purposes only and just put this under a counter uh, with some spare fuel. And if there's an absolute emergency, then you could put these together. But other than that, for everyday use, I'd prefer that you use a standard purchased lamp and then you can use my replacement wick. So anyway, let's keep it going here. Uh, we're going to be making some ceramic... These are uh, tapered ceramic plugs that can hold wick. These can hold my 3 16 Turbo Air Core cotton wick. Uh, these can also hold uh, 1 8 fiberglass wick. If you fold it over into a U shape and you thread the 1 8 through, it's a little bit of work, believe me. <laughs> so uh, first thing first, we're gonna do quick wick tips. So you see how it's a little bit twisted? What I do, and let's see if I can use the same kind of frayed end. So you're gonna have the holder and I would grab the wick together and you just kind of shove it into either side. It doesn't really matter. I start from the bottom usually and then have it come out the top. So I'm just kind of pushing it in and twisting. So I push and twist, push and twist. And with most holders, this will eventually get it through. So it's already starting to just barely peek through. So I just kind of take my fingers, I kind of push in while twisting. And what happens is it just kind of shoves it and forces it. So what you can do is you can untwist it on this end, make sure it's straightened, and then you can pull it back down. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flare it out a little bit and uh, we're not actually gonna light it on this one, but I'll show you the basics of how to put this together. But that is how you thread a ceramic wick holder with my wick. This is 3 16 Turbo Air Core. I call it Air Core because it's kind of frayed here, but if you can see, there's actually a little tiny, like a straw almost, a little hole in the center. And then it frays out into nice wicking material. 
So let's keep going. Uh, what uh, next wick tip will be is I like to weight the bottles. Weighting the bottles, uh, you could use any material that is non-flammable and will not interact with the fuel material. So today we are going to use gravel. <laughs> so real simple, just a quarter inch gravel purchased from, uh, you can purchase it online, you could get it from a local hardware store. Uh, you could go and find it on the ground <laughs> as long as you're not stealing it. So anyway, uh, what I like to do is I like to put gravel and fill up the base of the bottle of gravel. That's going to accomplish a couple of things. Uh, it is going to displace the amount of fuel uh, because a wick, another important wick tip, uh, is that a wick will only pull so much fuel. Um, I believe a half inch fiberglass wick will pull six inches. And I imagine as you go down from half inch to a smaller and smaller diameter, the distance from the burning tip to where the fuel level is will be less and less. So the narrower the wick, I imagine the, the less distance, meaning the more full it needs to be. So if you have a wine bottle, a wine bottle, you know, this is just a tiny uh, soda bottle, but a wine bottle has about a six to eight inch neck. So ideally a wine bottle candle should be filled basically almost to the top. And as it goes down and uses fuel, once it gets down to around here, it's gonna start to have trouble pulling the fuel because it's just a passive oops it's just a passive pump um, so you need to keep your fuel level somewhat near where your burning tip is um, and I wonder if some of the problems of people not having the flame stay lit is from them not having enough fuel um, so basically you know you have the, your wick and everything, but I would be really curious. I don't think you're going to be able to grab fuel and pull it eight to, you know, a wine bottle is probably a good 12, 14 inches tall. Certainly you're not going to be able to pull fuel from the very bottom of the wine bottle all the way up to the top. So what will end up happening is uh, it'll be starved for fuel. And basically if you lit it and the wick was wet, but it wasn't, uh, your fuel was not high enough, uh, the passive pump of capillary action will pull that up a couple inches. Uh, I believe six inches is about the maximum out of a half inch fiberglass. Uh, and then after that, you're going to start starving the flame for fuel. So if you were to fill fuel up to about here and then have a wet wick, uh, within a minute or two, it is possible, I guess, that you could deplete all the fuel in the wick and not pull up fuel from the very bottom here. So. What adding gravel does is a couple of things. It weights the bottom, so it'll make it slightly less tippable. And also, it'll reduce the amount of fuel you have to use. So here we have our fantastic protein bongos from our last live stream. So these were a lot of fun. Let's show these again. So what I do is to simulate the big drum, little drum that right there that was a lot of fun so that was the previous live stream uh, so what we're gonna do is I believe I'll probably grab this here pull my handy dandy Weber aluminum holder out of the way and I've literally just taken some of my gravel and put it in a bag and put it in a box just so it was easy to work with so it's not anything special I just literally kind of scoop and get it in it's gonna take a few seconds Grab a handful of it, kind of guide it in. Now, another quick wick tip, don't wash your gravel. Uh, I, I made a, uh, what was it, uh, Northwest World Reggae Festival. I, got, I bought a booth there, and I bought some beautiful aquarium gravel, which was multicolor, real nice. And I looked at it, I was worried that it was going to make a bunch of dust and it might look strange, and I made the mistake of washing my gravel. You would be amazed how long wet gravel will stay wet, and that could also cause you problems with your flame. So don't do that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. So uh, these seem to be okay. Um, I would always burn these outdoors. Anything that you're filling a bottle with something, 
Uh, you never really know what these rocks are made out of, what the dust on them is made out of, so I would always burn these outdoors just in case there's some sort of a coating or there's some sort of a rock that is going to interact in a strange way. Uh, another interesting thing you could do, but it would probably be pretty expensive, is you could fill this with, let's say, uh, stainless steel hardware. I think stainless steel would probably not interact with the fuel. It would look kind of interesting and also be very heavy as well. So this is about ready. Uh, you could fill it all the way if you wanted. Well, I don't think I want to go all the way. I want to have enough fuel that we can burn for a while. So I filled it all the way up to the neck. Uh, when it comes time to fill this, I will fill it with fuel almost to the top because if you don't fill it almost to the top, there's a chance that your flame will go out. So we are literally almost done here. <laughs> so step one, drink what's ever in the glass bottle. This was some uh, pink grapefruit soda. So you drink your grapefruit soda, you drink your wine, you drink your uh, apple cider. You could have, uh, I've even used uh, syrup containers, you know, like Monin syrup comes in a glass container. Uh, so we're pretty much done. I've added gravel. I've drunk with the fluid that was in my bottle beforehand. I made sure it was dry. I don't want to have any fluid in here, uh, water that is going to mix with my fuel. I have threaded my wick into my ceramic holder. The ceramic holder has a very nice taper to it, and so it's literally just going to seat itself into the bottle. Uh, there is a groove. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little groove on the side that does a couple of things. When it's seated in here, it's going to let a little bit of air into the bottle. If you create a project that has a complete uh, sealed, how would I say this? When you put the plug in, if this is completely sealed from air and air cannot get in, you're basically going to create a vacuum as you light the candle. So that can also be a reason for starving the, the flame. So the little groove lets air in. In addition, the little groove will also... Uh, sometimes if you put it in here, especially if it gets almost all the way to the bottom of the taper, uh, it's going to kind of lodge itself in there a little bit. And you could use like a little bamboo skewer, or if you gently used a very small pick, uh, but you need to be careful not to hurt yourself, uh, you can kind of wiggle that a little bit, and that'll help you get the bottle, uh, the holder back out. So, couldn't be easier, right? We put the wick in, we drank the, we drank the contents of our bottle, uh, we put some gravel in, makes it a little less tippy. Uh, if you were going to actually, like I said, these, I would only use these for emergency purposes. Um, if you were going to actually make uh, some sort of a decoration out of this, I would really recommend you put this in a metal container, and then you also need to additionally fill the metal container with, uh, you know, gravel also, because you want to have it up to about here holding this so you can't possibly bump the table and have that fall over with fuel in it. So whatever you do, I recommend you buy, you know, store purchased. This is just going to be for demonstration purposes to prove my products work. Uh, these would make fantastic emergency. Uh, you could make a bunch of these, put them underneath the, count, underneath the counter somewhere with a bottle of fuel. Uh, do not pre-fill your fuel. Your fuel will eventually evaporate. Uh, so I think we're pretty much done there. What were our quick wick tips to summarize? I always like to uh, fill the bottom of my bottles with some sort of a weight, such as gravel, which is inexpensive and readily available, uh, and will also mostly not interact with the fuel. So I still recommend burning these outdoors only if you're going to put something in with the fuel because you don't know what's inside of the rocks and you don't want to create a situation where your fuel is leaching out some sort of a toxic material out of the rocks uh, and then you're burning it indoors. Uh, if you went with something like a stainless steel hardware like nuts, washers, something like that, it's going to be very expensive but it would look very interesting and I don't think the stainless steel would probably interact with your fuel. Uh, next wick tip was just when you have to thread any sort of a holder it's really intimidating, it looks hard, it looks like a mess. Let's go ahead and do that again. So this is really getting frayed. It's a really a mess, but I think I'm still gonna be able to do it. Worst case, what I would do is I would trim it and end up, get a clean cut tip. 
So let's go ahead and, and what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a bunch of it and I'm pushing toward the holder while I twist. I'll grab a bunch, push toward the holder and twist. And there's already some little hair starting to come out of the top. Do that a little bit more. A lot more came out. Pull it through. You can go ahead and kind of pull it like this. That'll spin it. And you see that undid all the twists that I put into it. Pull it gently back. Be careful because you're going to have to re-thread it if you pull it too far. So really, honestly, that is enough. That might be too much. This is probably going to make a really big flame. You'll be amazed. So that is approximately about an eighth to a quarter inch showing. You could even probably go down to about that right there. We'll maybe even run it right like that. Slide that into your glass bottle. The ceramic holder will kind of fit into a nice little taper. And there you go. We're done. Thank you very much, everybody. Everybody have a great day. And this was Dan's Quick Wick Tips. Thank you very much. Bye.